down when you give me something that you learned yesterday. So we're going to do a quick recap, and I want it fast, okay? I want it really, really fast. Pretty and all start. Okay, we learned about I. I learned about presentations that you're supposed to maintain eye contact when talking to the people you're supposed to be Thank you, sit down. <coughs> I learned about confidence. Thank you. Hi, I learned about leadership. Hi, I can't hear you. <laughs> I learned about leadership qualities. Sorry? I learned about leadership qualities. Thank you, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned about mannerism, uh, how I constantly say something uh, over and over again without even noticing that I'm doing it. You learned about what? Mannerism. Uh -huh. uh, there's a thing that I do, like inonzi. I don't know, I hardly noticed that I do it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, I learned about being proactive, taking the initiative uh, as, a, as one of the qualities of uh, leadership. Thank you, Rodney. Um, I learned about confidence. Uh, you should be confident in all the things you do. Tell me something else. Someone was told me about confidence. Okay. Whilst you're thinking, Sarah, um, I learned about different leadership qualities in terms of communication and being proactive. Thank you, Nyasha. I learned about Don't need to put up your hands. Seven, <laughs> seven habits of highly effective people. Give me two. Um, be proactive, uh, begin at the end in mind. Sit down. Rodney, I'm back to you. I learned about interpersonal skills. Develop your interpersonal skills and make yourself better when you talk to other people. Thank you. You know, you weren't here yesterday. What did you learn the day before? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, I learned about setting um, goals in life. What's your goal in life, Ima? To be um, have a prominent and um, multi billion um, entrepreneur. In ICT. Okay, sit down. Yes, what is it? I learned about uh, sharpening the sword. Um, it uh, showed me that uh, I have to be accurate. Thank you. Alice, what is sharpening the sword? You can sit down. Alice, what is sharpening the sword? The sword. Actually, it's, it's more, more so, yeah. It's more, um, what I can remember. It was about uh, building your physical, your emotion, your intellectual, and your spiritual, I think. Thank you. Well, now, you can sit down, Alice. Thank you very much. Well, then. Uh, I need about um, uh, a skill that I usually learn. Seek first to understand before you can be understood. So I think from yesterday, I'm trying to understand others first before I want them to understand me. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Kevin. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday, I learned about a uh, uh, positive self-talk. Uh, in order to be confident, you need to say something positive about yourself. Uh, if we if we go here, any surroundings, you, 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 you need to say something positive about yourself. Great, Michelle. Thank you. You can sit down. Uh, yesterday, I learned about uh, facing your fears and how knowing your purpose can help you move from a place of uh, competition to a place of uh, Great. What's your purpose in life, Michelle? Uh, I'm still figuring it out. Sorry? I'm still figuring it out. I'm still figuring it out. How do you go? I don't know. Um, I learned about balancing production and production capacity. Okay, can you explain more? Explain more well, to Enoch. All right, Enoch, um, balancing production and production capacity is like this. Um, um, <laughs> All right, thank you, Tabato. You can, you can explain to him during the break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so was it a fruitful discussion?
discussion yesterday was it a fruitful session? Yes. 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 What has changed in the past two days? You guys have been exposed to map for life, goal setting, <coughs> finding a purpose in life. Yesterday we were taken through various steps in leadership. What has changed in your life? Do you see this course as something that's going to have so much impact on you? Mm -hmm. Are you taking that initial step? Mm -hmm. yes. If I'm going to ask you on Friday next week, who's going to have something that they can report on and say it's because of this training that I, this workshop that I attended, that I'm from point A to point B, because you're not going to go to point Z in one in one day. Hands up. Are you confident enough? Yes. It looks like you are not. Okay, by tell me by Friday what you think you've done. Um, I think we have started exercising. You think? I will start. When are you going to start? I will start tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. They were saying that when you set something, put deadlines to it, right? Yeah. Because if you keep on saying, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, you're going to continue saying, I'm going to start till you get to the end of the year, and you're not going to exercise, you're not going to go and look for that volunteerism, you're not going to look for that job, you're not going to take that initiative to start something. Guys, can you just fill up these chairs that are on this side and then all the way to the other side. All right, so today we're going to move on to our last session, which is mentoring. It's going to be more of group work. I'm not going to be giving you a lot of stuff. You're going to be giving me a lot of stuff, more interaction. So guys, you'll be very, very active today. And I want you guys to be very, very active. All right, so what do you think mentoring is? We're kickstarting. What do you think mentoring is? Yes, Philip. Um, it's um, guidance. It's guidance. Yeah. Who else? Who else can tell me what mentoring is? Yes, well. It's more like learning from someone else's uh, mistakes and lessons. Okay. Yes, uh, woman. Uh, holding someone's hand and uh, showing them. The things that you know mm -hmm. that they want to do. All right. So we're just going to look through the workshop objectives. I'm going to be using a lot of PowerPoints. <laughs> I know you were told yesterday don't use PowerPoints, <laughs> but it depends with what session you're holding, you're holding. Okay. So the workshop objectives for today, we want to understand the breadth and complexity of the mentoring role. So some of you are going to be in a situation of you being mentors, some of you are going to be in a situation of being mentees, and at the end of the day, we want everyone to appreciate what mentorship is, okay? And then we're going to develop an awareness of mentoring techniques and processes, what goes around mentorship. And then we're going to examine the key stages of a mentoring relationship. Mentoring is a relationship. So we want to find what are the key stages to make a successful relationship. And then we want to also understand the skills and competence of a mentor and what you as a mentee require. All right. Okay, so I'm going to break you all up into groups of groups of fives. Um, how can I do this? Because I don't want you guys to be in the same groups as yesterday. All right, all those who are born in January. How many were born in January? The first quarter, January, February, March. January, February, March, please come to the side. If you're born in January, February, March, come to this corner. And then the next quarter. April, May, June. All those who are born in April, May, June, please follow Kevin, Kelvin. April, May, June. January, February, March. You're going to be recording. Right. We'll start with Vincent. All right. Uh, the characteristics of a good mentee: one should be humble. Right 
Okay, so the January babies gave us that a mentee should be humble, should be committed, should be willing to learn, and should be proactive. Uh, do you have other, Chris, do you have anything else? That is different from this. Thank you very much, Vincent. Uh, patience. MNT should be patient. Good communication skills. Good communication skills. Time conscious. Should be time conscious. Thank you very much. And on the floor, applause. Good evening, Faye. Good evening, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then a mentor. We'll start it well. She should keep her guide better. At least keep her guide better. I know. You put it down. I didn't. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Morning, our group was uh, focusing on the characteristics of a good mentor. Uh, the first character is exemplary. Exemplary? It's too low. Okay, you go to the next okay. one. Okay, the second one is uh, the, the mentor should be confident. Okay. The second is uh, confident. The third uh, character is availability. Commitment.
So maybe you can just take down the people who say these things and then you go and read them for yourselves. Research. And then one last one. Mentoring is a deliberate pairing of a more skilled or experienced person with a lesser skilled one with, um, with the agreed upon goal of having the less experienced person grow and develop specific competences. <coughs> Do you agree with all these definitions? <laughs> From the exercise that you have done, do you agree that all these definitions define mentoring? Mm -hmm. What a mentor is, what a mentee is, and from what we have discussed. Mm -hmm. You agree? Yes. <laughs> it's correct. Mm -hmm. yep. Is mentoring the same as coaching? No. no. <laughs> is mentoring the same as coaching? It's not. No. I think it is. <coughs> Who has other ideas? No. Who has other ideas? Because I, I honestly think that mentoring and coaching, one and the same thing is just different spellings, different words, but the goal is the same. The result is the same. What is coaching? Yes, um, uh, Max. I'm not sure what they want to say. So. Okay, yesterday, <laughs> what, what did we learn yesterday? We <laughs> <laughs> don't start by apologizing. There is no wrong answer, there is no right answer. Tell me what you think. You put up your hand because you're confident that you know something. Yeah. Is mentoring and coaching the same thing? For me, they are two different things. Why do you say so? Uh, hmm. I think mentoring is like you are leading by example, actually. Okay. And that coaching. Coaching, you can coach. You can have a soccer coach, but just a bit. Don't know how to play soccer. I just know the techniques and skills, but he himself uh, wants to talk about soccer. Give an example. Uh, <laughs> Maria. <laughs> so, okay. So, so that's what I think. That's what Max thinks. Mentoring, yeah, mentoring. He said mentoring is what? It's teaching. So I'm not saying, but you lead by example. Leading by example. Coaching is uh, something you can't do, but you know the techniques and skills how to do. So. so you've got the skills, you've got the knowledge, but you're not. But able you, to. you are not able to do it, but you believe someone. Can. Okay, that's Max. Yes, uh, Tepato? Well, uh, the difference between mentorship and coaching is that a, a mentor has to be somebody who's more skilled and experienced. Mm -hmm. And they, it, the relationship is basically about the mentor imparting wisdom and experience to the one who's junior. But then with coaching, uh, a coach does not necessarily have to have experience in the particular field that they're coaching a person on. For example, I can coach a manager by basically um, helping them to discover what's in them. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. Like the example he's given, a soccer coach, I'm not going to keep us, I'm not going to strike or whatever, but I'm not going to coach the whole team, helping them to discover their own potential and excel in that particular field. Right. But can I remain to one for now? I told you somebody who's done that before and is an experience. Well, they've done that graphic t-shirt, it's not the coffee, that's what you're saying. I'm oh, sorry, I, I didn't understand what you said. Yeah, yeah. that's. Yeah, yeah. You've been there. Mm -hmm. Smells the coffee. Yeah, that's a mental. Thank you. Um, what's a mental? I just want you to tell me what's a mental. What's mentoring? What's coaching? Because I sincerely believe those two are the same. Prove me otherwise. Actually, I'm going to you agree with me? I agree. So you know how to use me that mentoring and coaching are the same thing. So at least I've got one person on my side. One person on my side. Yes, Philip. Um, coaching is for sports. <laughs> mentoring. <laughs> <laughs> Sports. Traditionally speaking, uh -huh. coach, coaches can use okay. right? Mentoring is more professional business or whatever. Okay. Like, right? Concept. Even I can mentor someone who's older than me, provided I know I have some form of experience more than the person who's older. I can mentor you. Okay. Yeah. I want to be mentored. But I found, yeah. <laughs> I found a mentor, guys. So, <laughs> take it. <laughs> All right. So, I've got one person agreeing with me and three people against me. Faith. I'm the fourth against you. Um, I think mentoring and coaching is different. They're different in that a mentor believes that even the unskilled can change and become something. They take those 
that they that they feel they've got potential and they work with them. But a coach says, bring your skill. I don't have to train you from scratch. You have to bring something. And Fano Tango would solve me embassy. So you they must walk by trap and up, but a manager says, you can't sing. Fine, you can talk. So you can do something. I believe that's the difference between the mentor and the coach. I think I'm being committed. But I need some good preacher to really <laughs> preach to me so that I get committed. One last person who can try and convince me. Who can I pick? Yes, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And you have to do a good job. Okay. I think the difference between mentoring and coaching is that. Jerry, can you hear? You can? Clearly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between mentoring and coaching is that mentoring involves a one on one relationship between the mentor and the, men, and the mentee. And then when it comes to coaching, it can be a group of people, it can be to an individual. So with mentoring, you cannot really mentor like a group of people without getting a one-on-one -on -one relationship. There has to be a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Then with coaching, it's just how you're very, very good to I think you've actually made me a staunch believer that these things are the same. So you can't mentor a group. It is, is possible. It is possible, but there should be a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the mentee. Okay, my take comes from everyone who's contributed. Say relationship, Mentor, mentorship should be relationship, one on one. Mentorship is uh, building a skill. Coaching is bring whatever you have. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it from there. Uh, mentoring and coaching are different things. I can coach someone. Uh, I can coach someone. Who, no, this one. Sports. Oh, he's saying <laughs> mentoring and coaching are different. Coaching is for sports. It came from sports. And mentoring, he's going to be my mentor. <laughs> and then Max. Max tried to. He was trying. So I didn't get to understand what you were saying. But Jim, give me a final. Convincing. <laughs> Summer. Yeah. Coaching is instruction based. The coach gives instruction to his players or the ones he is coaching. Okay. And mentoring uh -huh. <laughs> is basically a relationship between like the mentor and the mentee. Okay. So Jerry has summarized <laughs> that coaching is giving instruction. Mentoring is building a relationship and working on the skill to make it finer, refining. That's my understanding. Can I give an example? No, you can't. You had your time. <laughs> I'll come back to you, darling. All right, right in the far corner there. I, I think the two words are synonymous, and there's a thin line that can't separate the two, but it's almost the same. I want that thin line. The thin line is. The thin line is. <laughs> with coaching, with coaching, you. you you are coaching someone who has skills. Then when you're mentoring someone, you're trying to bring them to the same level. You can't really separate the two. I, I strongly believe they're the same. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. You are now all engaged. You want to prove a point, right? Who hasn't said something? Yes. I think from what I've been hearing, yes. mentoring is bringing out the skills that I am facing with them, coaching as perfecting the skills. <coughs> okay, yes. mentoring, bringing up the <coughs> bringing out the skills within someone. Bringing out the skill within someone, coaching is perfecting those skills. Okay. We're going to do a debate here. <laughs> All right, who hasn't seen it? <coughs> wow. Okay. Chienza. Okay. okay. Uh, mentoring. You are basically learning from someone who's done, they have failed, they have succeeded. So you are trying to learn and get better at what you do. Mm -hmm. Coaching, you are still doing the same. You've got skill, you are learning, and you're trying to be better, to be better, to be perfect. So for me, it really 